Good afternoon, good afternoon, and thank you again for tuning in to 10 Minute Spirit Your Word Break this afternoon, right here on KPTV with Evangelist Tamala Coleman. I pray that each of you have been blessed and having a great, amazing day today. It is a great day to be alive in the Lord. Amen. It's good to be able to be able to wake up this morning and have breath in your body, activity of your limbs, and most of all, know who we are in Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you again for tuning in with me today. And we're going to go into the word of prayer. We're going to get right into the word of God, where we have been studying in the last few weeks in Galatians, the fifth chapter, verses 22 through 23. Amen. Praise God. Dear Heavenly Father, we glorify you. We honor you, God. We give you the, all the glory and all the praise for all the praise belongs to you. God, we just thank you for yet another day you've allowed us to see. God, thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for waking us up this morning, Lord God, to your grace and your mercies that you give us each and every day, Lord God. We don't just count it count it joy. We count it joy, Lord God, that we woke up this morning and Lord God, we have the activity of our limbs and our, we're in our right minds and we thank you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus for just being God. We thank you, Lord God, this is the day that you have made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you for this few moments of a time to expound on your word, Lord God, for we know that your word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. So we thank you and we glorify you and we bless your holy name. I pray Pray that someone that's watching this broadcast today will receive something today, Lord God, that they can carry with them throughout the rest of the day, throughout their week and, and throughout the rest of their life, God. I pray, Lord God, that it will resonate in their hearts, their minds, and in their spirits. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen and amen. Praise the Lord. It is so good to, to be in the, in the land of the living. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Amen. Once again. So I'm just going to go into um, the word of God for the few minutes we have left here. We have been studying the nine fruits of the spirit, which we've been covering love, joy, peace, kindness and long suffering. And we're getting into goodness today. And how many of you know that God is good? He's been good to each of us. Amen. And because he is good, God wants us to live a life that's good. Amen. Praise the Lord. We are talking about goodness, which is one of the fruits of the spirit. And in my studying, I have been studying and about the nine fruits of the spirit. And one thing that I have learned is that we cannot obtain or have any of these attributes and characteristics without the Holy Spirit. So as believers, if you have the Holy Spirit already resonated on the inside of you, it lives on the inside of you, it teaches you, it, it helps you and it leads and it guides you. So as we learn about the nine fruits of the spirit and how we shall walk and live in the spirit of Christ, we have to know that whatever, however we're living, we need to do it in the spirit of Christ. Amen. Amen. And so uh, we talk about God being good as we know that God is good. And because he is good, he wants us to grow in the fruit of goodness so that we can be like him. And we should be exemplifying Christ in every in our daily life. We're supposed to die of this flesh, die daily um, of ourselves and we're putting on the spirit of Christ. Amen. So as we talk about goodness and what this goodness is, the word of God tells us that goodness is holy. Goodness is pure and goodness is righteous. So it's not only that you do good to people, do good for others, it's that you are good, that you live a life that's good. And the word of God in 2 Thessalonians tells us in 2 Thess um, Thessalonians 1 and 11, it tells us that we pray for God's power to help you do all the good things you hope to do and your faith makes you want to do them. Through the Holy Spirit's work in Christian lives, we are to walk upright with upright hearts and do good things. Amen. So we're not only supposed to just do good to others or for others, um, but we do good because it is good. We got to know evil, um, good and evil, right and wrong. 
and know when other people are going to the left and doing wrong things, we need to stand up and say, have good morals about ourselves, have good morals in our spirit. No, no, that's not right. That's not right. We got to walk in holiness and pure and righteous. Amen. And as we talk about the goodness um, of one of the fruits of the spirit, sometimes we lump kindness and goodness together. What well, kindness is the action that you show towards others, where goodness is also a little bit of that as well, but it is walking in holiness and purity and in righteousness, doing good as well as doing good towards others. Amen. And we need to learn to do that because this world, my brothers and sisters, is filled with so much evil that there's so many people that are following the wrong leadership. Um, so many people that are just are on the wrong tracks of righteousness and they're doing things that are just not right. I often say that we're living in a world where uh, right is wrong and wrong is right. So we have to live this life that's holy, pure, and righteous. Do good and also live a life that's good. Be good. Live your life in doing what's right um, in, in your nature and in, in your nature and your spirit. Um, and also walk in the ways of Christ, where when you walk in the ways of Christ, you can't go wrong. Amen. Because the spirit is resting and residing on the inside of us. And again, we cannot attain the Holy Spirit, the attributes and the characteristics without the Holy Spirit. How many of you know we need the Holy Spirit? We need the Holy Spirit that leads and guides and teaches us all things. Amen. So let's learn to walk in the ways of God, to exemplify him and his goodness. Christ is the prime example of how we should live daily, how we should walk daily, how we should talk daily. So as we um, take an examination of ourselves, because Paul talks about that as well, he talks about um, how we should examine ourselves. And, you know, before we go to judging people and, you know, how we, when we start to doing things and we know we have been wrong, we have to learn to examine ourselves, look at ourselves in the mirror and see, am I living a right a life that's righteous? Am I living a life that's holy? Am I living a life that's pure? And we want to have carried those attributes and the on um, the fruits of the fruits of the spirit in our lives so that the world can see what Christ looks like. Amen. How it is to walk in the ways of Christ. Amen. So I pray that you all will receive this message today. And let your goodness resonate from your heart and know that it's holy, it's pure, and it's righteous. Let's do that. Let's walk in the ways of Christ and let's put on the attributes and the characteristics of Jesus Christ. I pray that you all have received something today and I pray that you will come back with me next week as we study again one of the other nine fruits of the spirit. May God smile upon you. May he bless you and you have a great, great rest of your afternoon. God bless you all.